Imagine having someone marketing for you, doing emails 24 hours a day, seven days a week without ever taking a break or ever complaining. Well, that is what Active Campaign can do. And in today's video, you'll discover how you can easily set up an automated email marketing machine. So let's dive right in. Hi, it's Steve from It Makes Sense. And if you want the best tools, tips, and strategies for creating an online affiliate marketing business, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you're notified when I post my weekly videos. And when I first started, I've tried many email autoresponders. I tried Gmail, I tried MailChimp, I tried a Weber, I tried GetResponse, but ActiveCampaign is by far the best email autoresponder that I have found. So in this active campaign automation tutorial, I'm going to show you how I'm setting up one of my lead magnets that I have in my videos, and I'll take you on a behind the scenes look of how I create that so you can create one for yourself. So let's go over to the computer and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, what I want to do is I want to create an email automation for when someone act, wants to access my YouTube SEO checklist. So I'm on my blog and when someone gives me their name and email, I want to send them this free checklist. So let me go over to Active Campaign, and the first thing I need to do is create a list. Now I've already done this, it's called YouTube SEO, but if I wanted to create a new one, all I would do is go to Lists, Add List, and then I can name it, let's just name this YouTube SEO version two for now. Put in your URL, which is the URL of your blog, and then remind you have to put in a description and remind them why they subscribe to this list. So you wanted my free YouTube SEO checklist. All right, so then you can add that. So when someone goes into here and they put their name and email, they are added to this list that I've already created. Okay, so now that I have a list creative, the second thing I want to do is create an automation to send them this specific um, freebie. So I would come over here and I'd go to automations. And as you can see, I have a lot of automations that I have. So I'm gonna create a new automation. So let's go create automation. I'm gonna do from scratch, continue. Now the first thing you need to do is add a trigger. What is going to start this automation? So in our case, when someone subscribes to that list that we created, that is what's going to kick off this automation. So let's subscribe to list, and it's going to be the list we created um, before, not this one, this is gonna be this one, so it's YouTube. It's gonna run once, and then I'm going to add start. So the first thing I want to do is send them an email. So I'm going to click on send an email. I don't have any emails that I've created already, so I'm going to create an email. And this email name is going to be called my YouTube SEO checklist. Now this isn't um, what the end user sees, this is what you will see so you can go through all the emails that you've created. So this is what I'm gonna call it. And now I have a template that I've already created with my branding, but you can see Active Campaign has many different templates you can use. So I'm just going to use this template. It's going to come from me at my email address. And in the email subject, I'm going to say, Here is your YouTube SEO checklist. And hit continue and I'm gonna replace this with an email that I've already created. Just copy it here. Now the, the one thing that I want to add is a personalization. So I'm going to delete this where I said personalization. It's just a reminder of for me to do that because in my opt-in, I asked for their name. So I'm just going to put in personalize and their, I'm just gonna their first name for now. So there, so whenever someone gives me their name, this first name variable will be replaced with their actual name. So as promised, here is your free YouTube SEO checklist. All right, so let me just format this. Now I want to create a link here where they're actually gonna go and get 
the checklist. So I have this set up in a Google Doc. So let me go get that. So it's right here. So if I right click on it, get a shareable link, and I want it to make I want it to be anyone that has this link. If I save it. Now if I copy this link and I come back here and I highlight this and I right click it and paste in the link and hit OK. Now when someone goes and clicks on this it should take them right to this Google Doc that they can download. So now everything looks good so I'm going to go next. And one of the cool features about Active Campaign is they have the spam checker. So if you have anything in your subject or within your email, for instance, if you have get rich online or make a million dollars or anything that uh, Active Campaign thinks is spammy, they'll tell you right here. That is a really good feature of Active Campaign. So I want to, everything looks good. It's my message name, my address. You have to have an address in there, otherwise, you can't send emails. I can send a test email if I want. So I'm going to send that to my own email address. So I want to save and exit this. So I want to save this. All right, now the next thing I want to do is I have another sequence that I send people to just where it, I call it my soap opera sequence and that's where they get to know me. I tell them my story and it's where I want to start to build trust and a relationship with whomever subscribes to my email list. But before I do that, I don't want to send them another email right away. So what I want to do is I want to have them wait for a day. So they're going to wait for one day. I also don't want to send them an email um, during the weekend. So I want to add another condition. They're going to wait. They're going to wait until specific conditions are met. So I want to make sure that their current day of the week is not weekend. I also want to add that they receive this email at 4 o'clock standard time their time zone so I'm going to add another one and current time in their time zone not mine because I'm in Eastern Standard Time but they might not be so current time in their time zone is 4 p.m. now the reason I chose that is because I found out that most of my emails um, were most of my emails got a better click open rate at this time. So that's why I chose 4 p.m. So I'm going to hit save. So what's happening is they're going to get this first email. They're going to wait a day and they're going to make sure that it um, doesn't, it's not a weekend and it's four o'clock their time. And then once those conditions are met, they're going to start my other automation, which is my soap opera sequence. And I'll show you what that is in a second. So they're going to start that and then apply. Let's save it. And then I'm going to end this automation. So that's how, oh, and then the next thing I want to do is I want to name this. So it's called this my YouTube SEO checklist. And let me save it. And now let's make it active. That's it. That's how you create a really easy automation. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what lead magnet you could create in your email autoresponder. Now let me show you some of the other automations I have. They're a little more complex. We won't go through them. I just want to show you some of the things that Active Campaign can do. So let me go back to automations. And before I do that, I want to show you the, the, the soap opera sequence. So let me look it's probably on the second page here it is my soap opera sequence so once they left that um, automation they're coming directly over to this one and as you can see I have a bunch of emails within this automation and one of the other great features about active campaign is you can come in here and you can see how many people are queued so for instance this person is waiting the one day and they're waiting until it's not the weekend it's four o'clock and then they're going to receive this next email so if i queue i can see who is on my um, current within that current automation 
So let me go back to my automations and just show you some of the other things that you can do with Active Campaign. So if I go to this funnel here, and this is another automation I have, you can see you can get, get pretty complex with the if and statements with conditions. So you can see it, it can get pretty pretty complex in terms of what you can do. You can add different you know if statements. So for instance, if someone it hasn't opened any of your emails, you can just unsubscribe them from your list. Or if they did a certain action, then you can send them to a different email uh, automation. So that is just the power of Active Campaign, and one of the reasons why um, I really love it. It looks complex, but once you start doing these, it's really simple to do. All right, let's test this out. So let's go to the blog and let's put in my name and let's give it my email address. So I'll just use this one for now. Hit send me the checklist. And now I have to wait and we go to my email. So we open up my email. And sometimes it takes a little bit of time before you actually get the email. All right, so you can see I've received the email and if I click on this, it takes me to the YouTube video checklist. Now if I go back to Active Campaign and go to the automation that I'm in, you can see that I'm in the queue. So I received the email and now I'm waiting the one day. And another way you can tell if, um, that how many people are, are with in your automation is by this little number here. So right now I have currently have one person within this automation. Really the only complaint I hear about Active Campaign is with affiliate marketing, which is interesting because they have their own affiliate program. But if you use a link cloaker and you're not one of those spammy affiliate marketers, then you should be just fine with um, Active Campaign. I use it and I have not had a problem. So in this video, I showed you how to set up a simple email automation sequence using Active Campaign. However, if you want to learn more about email marketing, then I'll leave a link down below for a free video course that I put together. And it is a 10 video course that goes through uh, email marketing and the basics of how to do email marketing. Also, if you want to watch my full review of Active Campaign or how Active Campaign compares to AWeber, I'll leave a link up above uh, in the card where you can go check out that video. And if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up so I know to create more content like this. And make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my weekly videos. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Imagine having someone doing. So in this video I talk So in this video I told with Stop saying okay